In my Legend of the Galactic Heroes video, I talk about how well done the supporting cast is, and a good example is one of my favourite characters in the show and in anime overall, Paul von Oberstein. In basically any show you see, the characters will undergo some sort of development, changing as certain plot points come forward. Oberstein, however, manages to be one of the most fascinating characters in the show despite not really changing at all, with everything we ever learn from him being made clear in his 5 minute introduction. Learning that Oberstein was weak as a child establishes a lot about his character. Knowing what we later learn about the Inferior Genes Expulsion Act, this law would have no doubt caused a lot of prejudice in the galaxy as those deemed inferior would have been killed. While this law became less prominent in later years, there is no doubt that Oberstein would have experienced some trouble as a child due to his condition, and I believe this shaped him into the cold, emotionless person we now know him to be. Fueled by his desire for the end of the Golden Bam dynasty, he no longer saw himself as a person likely due to his abuse, and was instead a machine with the sole purpose of building up and serving the Galactic Empire. This is made clear when we see the abuse he's willing to take from his colleagues and the public, even dying in the end is all that matters to him is carrying out his purpose. The hatred directed towards him is what makes him so interesting as people are constantly voicing their concerns as to where his allegiance lies and openly stating that he is even working against the Kaiser, which isn't entirely wrong. However, it's hard to argue with any of the choices he makes, and despite being despised by the entire cast and perhaps even the viewers, he helped the Empire more than anyone else. The Westerland Massacre haunted Reinhardt, which is something we see far later in the show, but it did undoubtedly save millions of lives. Similarly, using the Kaiser as bait on his deathbed to lure out the Earth Cult might seem underhanded, but it finally put an end to the terrorist attacks that had been damaging countless cities. This is a man who had no real ambitions like Rointal or Trunit, and ironically was the most loyal subject of the Empire, who would even dispose of the Kaiser if he felt that he was a threat, not willing to abide by his feelings of pride and honour. In reflection, Reinhardt saying he will make use of Oberstein is quite interesting, as in the end it was Oberstein who had complete control all along. And of course, all of what I've said does rely on reflection, as it isn't apparent when first watching. These thoughts slowly build up throughout the story, and the ending statement during Oberstein's death is what really makes you think about his character in a whole new perspective, while still adding enough mystery to leave multiple interpretations to him. I think it's a testament to the strength of the show's writing when this character manages to come off as cold, calculating, manipulative, and I feel really sorry for him. His entire life was one without camaraderie, without satisfaction, and one in which he didn't regard himself as worthy of the joys most people have. Hated and despised, he took on roles that no one else wanted to take on, and was an invaluable member of the Empire. I hope at the very least he felt some sort of closure in his death.